Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video I want to take a look at Primal Fin Lookout in Hearthstone Battlegrounds. So Primal Fin Lookout is a tier 5 Murloc. With a battle cry if you control another Murloc, discover a Murloc. And oh boy what does this minion do on tier 5? This is, <laughs> this is really something. When you look at the numbers, is it good or is it bad in the end? The discover pool for Primorphin Lookout in Battlegrounds is currently 8 minions. There's Rock Pool Hunter, Murloc Tidecaller, Murloc War Leader, Murloc Tidehunter, Old Murkai, Nightmare Amalgam, Toxfin and Goldlight Seer. In Battlegrounds, Primorphin Lookout cannot discover itself. It can discover itself in regular Hearthstone, but in Battlegrounds it cannot. But if you're running a Murloc composition, well then obviously getting some of those Murloc buffs like Cold Ice Sears can be good. And having Nightmare Amalgams can always be good. Of course you already need to have one Murloc on the board in order to use it, so probably Amalgam is like at least the Murloc that you have. Or if your Amalgam still lacks poisonous, then you might want to look for a Toxfin. So how good is Prime Lookout at giving you what you need, or is it better to just keep refreshing? I did the math. There are 8 minions, and in Battlegrounds the discoverers don't come from the shared pool of minions. Your discoverers are always from all of those available potential minions. And if you discover a minion that is still left in the pool, then that gets pulled from the pool. But you can also discover additional copies, like if all Nightmare Amalgams are taken, and you discover a Nightmare Amalgam, you are actually creating a Nightmare Amalgam out of thin air. So because these discovers are not linked to the actual minion pool, it's 37.5% to get a specific one, or 61% if you have a brand and you get two rolls. So for example, let's say your amalgam is still missing poisonous and you want a toxfin. Toxfin is a tier 4 minion. If you were to have a discover a tier 4 minion card, so it would be on a tier 3 tavern, you get that discover, it's 21.4% to get it. As compared to 375 with the lookout. Or if you just try to roll it from the tavern, the highest chance you have to find it is when your tavern is tier 4, and then it's 6.5% per time. When you level up your tavern a little bit, it goes slightly lower, but it's still almost the same. So rolling 3 refreshes on a tier 4 tavern would give you 18% chance to find a Toxfin. So if you're offered a Primal Fin Lookout, and you're looking for the Toxfin, it's always better to buy the Primal Fin Lookout and try to discover the Toxfin than it is to try to keep rolling in order to see a Toxfin. And in fact, the same applies to all Murlocs. So whenever you have a Murloc that you want to find, and you're offered a Primal Fin Lookout, you should always take that and attempt to discover that Murloc, because it's more probable to find it that way than it is to find it by keeping just rolling. So even though Primal Fin Lookout is on a very high tier, Whenever you have a Murloc in play, and you happen to need any sort of Murloc, either Murloc buffs for your Murloc board, or a Toxfin for your Amalgam, you should always pick the Primal Fin Lookout. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.